Hi everybody and welcome back to Transformers Devastation. In 2024, this should be Chapter 7, the finale. I merged 5 and 6 together because 5 was really, really short. If I remember, 7's a bit longer. I might compensate for it. <clears throat> I do not do tips, tricks, guides, walkthroughs, speedruns, 100% trophies or achievements. I play video games for a hobby. I like to play games. They're fun. I have many hobbies. Maybe I'll get around to doing some of the others, such as uh, movie reviews, as well as uh, maybe some model stuff. I don't know. Definitely want to go through my RPG book sometimes and do some talking about that stuff. Anywho, the sole goal of the channel is I want to invade your homes and your phones and be on the background of those screens for you. Because uh, I want to give you a nice greasy bite of nostalgia. Like the days of going over to your buddy's place, whether you drag over one of your consoles or, uh, you know, they drag over one of theirs. And as you get older, sometimes life gets in the way, jobs, family, people move. You lose touch, you get busy. And that's why I'm here. Hopefully if have kind of scratch that itch, whether it's 1 o'clock in the morning and you're getting off work or you can't sleep. You feel like, man, I wish somebody would come on over and hang out. So that's why I do these videos, kind of foster that environment where we can have stupid conversations. And uh, you can watch me and whenever I play games co-op with friends and relatives, uh, watch us play games terribly. I like to play games O-Box or out of the box. Uh, meaning I do it with as few, most of the time, no mods as possible. Though I could probably experiment with some mods like, uh, what was it? That Omega mod for Red Alert 2 is amazing. It's freaking amazing. Uh, for this game, I don't know if they have any mods. I can tell you this much. It's not for sale on Steam anymore. It really should be. Replaying this is just a blast and can turn anyone into a nostalgic fan for something, even if they weren't born yet. <laughs> uh, I was old enough to grow up watching these uh, cartoons and though I was never the biggest fan of Transformers I I mean I liked a lot of G1 stuff mostly um, culminating in I think my loss of interest in Transformers ended around the time of the movie just really couldn't jump into it at that point like some of the Marvel comics from what I remember Anyways, it's been fun. Like, uh, I forgot how great this game is, and I would argue it's one of my favorite Platinum games. Uh, Vanquish, I think, is probably also up there. I have nothing concrete to go off of, but I feel like this was uh, around the time they were trying to give, like, the Platinum B team a lot of uh, experience under their belt. So they did things like the Avatar game, which I never played, the... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Mutants in Manhattan, which I did play, and I would record that, but I only own it on the PS3. It's not as good as this one, but it was okay. Criticisms of the game? I only have three, and all said and done, they're very minor, because this game is stellar. It's A different design philosophy so instead of being broad with a lot of stuff in it but each thing in it each mechanic is shallow like you've seen a lot of open world games or more modern games where they kind of fit everything in the kitchen sink in such as here's base building here's dialogue tree here's a skill tree but they're all kind of bare bones this game gives you fewer tools to play around with but the tools it gives you has depth And that's something I like in games. Something I wish uh, more games would do. Hyper-focused. It's kind of like Bushido Blade in a way. I'm in a rambling mode right now, or so we'll do a Ryan's Rants. But Bushido Blade, back when Squaresoft made good games. Uh, of course, it's Square Enix now. but uh, Very simple game on the surface level, but very deep mechanics. So when you actually mastered or got good at the game 
it felt really good and rewarding. Unlike a lot of modern games, it feels like you kind of jump through hoops and as long as you jump through the hoops, it's going to be, you're going to hit that ceiling. Um, whereas this game, it has a high ceiling, so, I mean, you can play through it, you can beat it, it's not a difficult game, but the potential to get really good at it is there, and that's something I like. Kind of reminds me also of a uh, game, what was it, Kung Fu for the Nintendo? Simple game, but mastering it was fun. Alright, so this playthrough I played Wheeljack, maybe I'll come back for a 10 year anniversary video, play through this again, because it's not a long game. It's only about seven hours. Uh, that's not including all the collectibles or if you want to level everything up. And as I think I know before, I'm playing on Commander, which is hard difficulty. And after Commander, there's another difficulty level, and then there's another difficulty level after that. So there's like five difficulty levels, I guess. And, uh, I spent years just playing it on normal, never even bothered playing it on hard because I didn't think there was going to be much difference but apparently some of these challenges only unlock on harder difficulties for you to get the collectibles I think some of them only show up on harder difficulties and uh, the enemy encounters uh, they mix them up a bit so I remember in some of the bites in the game you might run into like three sol ground soldiers it might be blue which is like the regular types but on hard you might have a gold one or two gold ones or they might add seekers in which are uh, the jet planes yeah, if you haven't watched any of these other videos so they mix up the enemy compositions as much yeah the games could be arguably called a you know monster closet the game which is um, comparable to say splatter house on the ps3 which I'd love to figure out a way to record that and put it up for y'all maybe I'll figure out something for October uh, but it works here because again the joy of it comes from seeing these retro cartoon characters story again after all these years but also the gameplay itself being so rewarding a lot like okami where as beautiful as the game is aesthetically this also shares that i love the cartoony style uh, the gameplay is what gets you hooked and addicted no need for microtransactions here, folks. We have uh, the precursor, the granddaddy to microtransactions. They are called unlockables. All right, but I'll quit rambling. And you know what? Let's bookend this, huh? Will Jack deserves his time in the sun. Soundwave has spotted. It hardly matters now. I hated to do that. Soundwave, the best transformer. We are almost there. Time to crash the party. <laughs> yeah, I love that thinking pose that Wheeljack does. He like bends his knees. Makes you think he'd have a beard. Anyways, uh, even though Soundwave is my favorite fight, um. There is another really good fight coming up. And this is something I love in games that when they do it, um, fighting alongside companions. Again, oh, criticisms. Um, there is no co-op, there is no Decepticon campaign, and there was never a sequel. Probably should have waited to do that after this, but yeah, let's give someone a try. Uh, what do I have to do?
Well, that was it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't remember doing that one. So see that sometimes there's some challenges that you can only unlock at hard difficulties. Uh, also, SS is the highest rank. So, yeah, there's even more collectibles than the regular collectibles. Let's try and save those. talking about um, Dead Space, I think, in the last video. I'm going to hold off on doing the Dead Space 1 playthrough, which I've never played that game, um, until Halloween, I think. Staying the season, right? As you can tell, everything's going... Crazy. Oh, Motor Master. Completely forgot about your allies popping in the hell. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else is there. Alright. this. I don't think it'll be a mistake, but... Yeah, 
keep allies safe, huh? I think I kept them pretty safe. I'm coming for you, Megatron. Right, you want me to go that way? Which means I'm gonna go this way. use the weapons you've equipped on them or okay yeah go over there got it strange pickup. Okay, we gotta use an item here. on that one. Well, it says I kept allies safe though, so I'll take it. Let no one stand in our way. Inventory booster. What do we got over here? This is on hard and I'm playing terribly. You gotta remember, I uh, I did spend time grinding out before this to upgrade uh, all the stats on all the Autobots, at least to max level, which on, if you've cleared normal, 32 is the highest you'll see here on the right side. Um, the highest level goes up to 99 or 100. And let me tell you something, it takes a lot of money to upgrade that stuff. Each Autobot plays differently, so 
shouldn't have hardly used this, but Wheeljack has this. Which is a shield. Uh, I can't remember what everyone else does. I think Ratchet can use his uh, little gun shoulder thing. Grimlock is probably the most unique out of them. And I can't remember if he was a DLC character or if you could unlock him in the main campaign at a certain point, but uh, you know, because of his dinosaur form, he plays very differently than the other Autobots. Uh, at least with, in regards to like vehicle mode and stuff like that. Poorly there. Oh, what he said. Oh, really? We get another large energy pack? No, oh, large energy pack. No one cares about that. Uh, what do we have enhancement wise? We got a couple capsules, huh? Don't worry about that though. Three of six. I am worried about that. I think this is. Try and hit one at a time. Sky crack and thunder warp, right? Is that what that was? Seekers, they were just pretty neat. Here, this should fill up my health. Also, let's look at some of the weapon drops we got. Let's see if we need to sell anything. Oh, an S. 
Item pull five. I'll keep that just because it's an S. All speed, all speed, sin experience, focus, three, all cost. Rare drop one. Defect, gotta get rid of those. You know what? Energon Sword. Alright. So six is the highest, huh? I'm gonna actually set this up for success for later runs. Show you what you can do. eventually you'll get to a point where you can swap out the skills. So. Now I don't know if it stacks though. To be fair. But find out. Okay. So I did that just for a future reference. So yeah. Thing is, you can eventually s choose what skills you want to swap out, and that's why I did that. Defect, get rid of. Um, but you want to try and level up your weapons, and I think the max level is 99 or 100, the same as your regular level. just because they seem to be so hard to get a hold of. Oh, except one. I don't need a one. And you want rare drops because it'll increase the rank of the weapon drops. You want S and A. Uh, primarily. Focus wouldn't be bad. Recoil is okay. Accuracy. Ah, that's going to be the best. That's what I need to look at. Upgrading. Problem is it's only got four skill slots. Six is the most. Here we go. 
That should make it so I can upgrade that like crazy when the time comes. Okay, and tech. You can develop tech here by picking chips, and difficulty unlocks the ability to produce higher level chips, so. Um, yeah, and there's two more levels of chips you can get. Should I switch that out for something else? And a shockwave blaster. Fusion cannon, but it's only got four shots. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep rolling with this. <laughs> Ideally, you want to have a set for grinding. And a set for uh, fighting. Oh, it looks like you got rid of my. Um... Oh, what? Let me just. This is one of my favorite fights in the game coming up to. Not as good as the sound wave uh, fight, but even though that went by quick. Only because I'm more or less overpowered. <laughs> ah, Devastator again. You know what? I don't need to, but I will.
That seems pretty average, right? Just beating the crap out of him. Yeah, double trouble. Oh, I love this fight. It gets so hectic. I am glad my weapons are... Upgrade as they are. Take it. Megatron headed for the surface, and he took the Ferrotaxes with him. Then that is where we go. Autobots, yeah, Minnesota. Out. <laughs> really wish they would have done that more. But yeah, that was a great fight. I loved it. When I first re played this game and that hopped up, I was like, oh shit. Our home will live again. We will find a way to save Cybertron. But I cannot allow you to destroy Earth. We should have been allies, you know. Imagine what we could have accomplished. But you never had the manifolds to do what needed to be done. <laughs> I have manifolds. the manifolds to stand up for those who cannot stand Car for talk. themselves. Give me the Pharaoh Texas. We I do wish they will let Megatron have his gun. I think it Cybertron, might come into... Where no, it I can't belongs. Remember. You have made a great discovery. Let us use it wisely. <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff, Optimus. No. If you want it, you'll have to take it down and get it. Ooh. Texas. No. <laughs> the Insecticons are Insecticon. Yeah, that'll be fellow last time. Though. 
<laughs> Optimus is jumping. Megatron can fly. Wait, can Optimus also just randomly fly? No, uh, maybe I'm misremembering. I mean, I guess it's cooler if he's hopping from Insecticon to Insecticon, but... Oh, I have to be. You will play Cybertron at the center of the universe. I guess no real jack here. Cybertron is the center of my universe. How is it not the heart of yours? Cybertron is about all life destruction. I can't remember. Yeah, this is this. And that was it. Yeah, I guess because it's the final, quote, battle. Uh, but we did play through with Wheeljack the entire game. It will not let me shut down the Insecticons. Megatron, what have you done? One last failsafe in order to <laughs> shut down the Pharaoh Taxes. <laughs> You must destroy it. You hold the fate of Cybertron in your hands, Prime. You are correct, Megatron. And I have the courage to make the right decision. So when you start the game, you have the option to pick, play through the story as the characters at their... Required parts, so like, you know, certain segments you'll play Bumblebee and Ratchet and Wheeljack. Or you can done? pick to play as a single the Autobot throughout the whole thing. Their own fate. I picked Wheeljack um, instead of following the story route. I think the first time I did, I picked story. Second time, I just played through with the Optimus all the way through. Autobots, <laughs> we have lived on Earth for decades, but I it see looks like the final battle, regardless, he always plays Optimus. Holding out some distant hope that we would return to a newly reformed Cybertron. And maybe one day that will happen. But we cannot continue to live in between worlds from this day forward. We are no longer Cybertronians who are stranded on another world. Now we are a part of Earth. And we must treat Earth. As though we were forged here. Oh crap, he's about to Armageddon we this, isn't he? Our home, no matter the cost. And that should be How it. How are you recovering, Optimus? I will live, thank you. Fortunately, it appears that Earth will as well. Have you found a way to strengthen our forces? As I said, it's not without risks. I was thinking about what I was told. <laughs> the prophecy on the Proud Star. That there is a way to end the war. Incoming transmissions. Defensor and Superior. Protect and serve, Optimus. <gasps> That's our job. Why like the hell were you guys? We are here to help, too. We don't have to do this alone. To finally <laughs> rid Earth of the Decepticons. This might just be the price we... I... <gasps> no. You. And that was it, folks. Yeah, it was such a kind of start sliding. Down at the uh, chapters five, six, and seven, kind of get rushed a bit. Um. But it's still a blast to play through. 
And this will also give me an idea. Hey, Hasbro. Multiplayer. Transformers game where you let people make their own Autobots and Decepticons. Customize. The look. What vehicle move they have. Abilities. You can have PvP. I'd make I'd make more mass cassettes and great. But yeah, that'd be a great transforming game. Something like this in this style, but you make your own Autobot or Decepticon. Multiplayer, co-op, PvP. Maybe even like hub open world mixture. Maybe something like uh Xenoverse, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, one and two. It'd be great. I mean, look at this. This looks like it'd be a multiplayer. It's a free idea, Hasbro. Just uh, put my name in the credits somewhere. <laughs> God, it's a great game. Short, quick playthrough, very arcadey. A lot of collectibles, a lot of things you get. I I couldn't recommend this anymore if I tried. Um, hopefully Activision gets off their butt and somehow gets a way to sell this again on Steam. Maybe even the... Uh, here it's showing all the care like against the Constructicons you'd be playing Ratchet uh, with the big claw thing introduction you were playing as Bumblebee but because I picked the mode I was playing Wheeljack the whole time. <laughs> Grimlock and beat up like usual. <laughs> But yeah, is this worth it? Very much so. But don't go out of your way paying exorbitant amount of money to do so. Um, <laughs> I'm big about game preservation, so I'd, uh, I'd love to see this and all the other Transformer games get re-released. The game's not even, I mean, I guess it's old now, but I still see this as like a newer game in my mind. I remember when it was announced and, yeah, I'm lucky enough to still have it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I, I definitely did. It was a quick playthrough too. Giant insecticons. <laughs> like ancient, I think they call them. Hmm. <laughs> 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 running. Blessed Frank Walker, Michael Bell, Scott White, Jim Moore, Christopher Swindle, Dave Pope, Steve Bloom, all y'all. Every single one of you. This is great. And of course, Peter Cole. <laughs> y'all keep on keeping on. Yeah, I don't know. I guess sales weren't too great. I, I don't have anything to back it up. Just, uh,. Never did a sequel, never expanded on it, really. Oh, and how about that for, like, a multiplayer game? You could play, like, combiner robots, and then it turns into, like, a completely different co-op-style game where each of you have to be responsible for a different body part. Be kind of like Robot Alchemical Drive. Rad on PS2. That'd be kind of neat. But yeah, Azro, get on it. Take my idea. You're more than welcome to. Just uh, put my name in the credits somewhere. And then this. This is what hurt most. 
I remember this now. Setting up for a sequel that's never going to come. It's the uh, Prime that went crazy. Kind of reminds me of a Gundam. <gasps> He's coming online. Yeah. Alright. On any default, the Wizard of Iacon? No death. Yeah. Oh, we got a special item. Huh? Let's look at this. Fusion Cannon. It's rank A. These are rank A's, huh? It's electric. Okay, so I've unlocked now Magnus. As you can see, I, I've never even played on easy. Maybe one day I'll play Bumblebee and go through on easy, right? Magnus unlocked. I'm like a new mission challenge mode. Alright, let's just look around for a bit. Before I call it. So, yeah, if I do come back, I think I might do Grimlock on Magnus. What did we unlock? It's like we unlocked a new thing. Maybe one of these, I don't know. Oh, we've also unlocked this on Commander, or Magnus, right? So yeah, then what I'm going to probably need to do is equip farming tools. And, uh... You know what, maybe we will do that right now. Check status, so see, now you can see, um... It bumped up. Other things to remember, or to keep in mind, even though we were already maxed out at 32, there's a couple ways to gain experience. You can add experience at the cost of credits, which is currency, right? So hold down Y, it goes up, fill the entire bar, or two, and then you'll see that little arrow on strength go up one pip, right? The other way is by getting experience by, by fighting and actually playing. You'll level up progressively, and the stats will random, randomly, which is what happened. Now, the neat thing is, even though we were capped at 32 because of the difficulty and we couldn't manually level up, behind the scenes, the game was calculating how much experience I was building up so that when Magnus Mode unlocked, it would bump it up to comparatively, so all these were 32, so I, I went up about 7 levels, roughly, on most of these. Uh, and every Autobot has different stats. Oh, and they all gained experience, too. They all have different stat preferences, so... If I adjust the Ectrosphere my services appear to be required. That's yeah, new tech. I think I can develop new tech, right? Yeah. Let's give this a try. Let's see what we get. Let me see. This is legendary. Oh, huge. All right. So this allows me to make like higher tier versions. Oh, like messed up. Oh, yeah. Try again. Let me see. Sometimes I impress myself. Yeah. So, there's one more tier. I think it the chips cost 20,000 to make. Anyways, let's give this a try. I'll show you how to do this. Let's do this will last me the entire level. Oh, they have different patterns. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay, so these aren't the same uh, movement patterns as uh, before.
this is why this one is like one of the better ones to do because uh, you'll see it's timed. It's not really on rails. Or because it's on rails, you're, uh, it's only a set time or length. It's not performance based. So see, it's only about a minute 22, and you can just keep doing this over and over and over. Um, popping for experience, credits, and uh, weapon drops. And you get all that. So, look at that. Wow, we got some really rare drop five? Holy crap. amazing yeah so as you level up the quality of the drops will level up too <laughs> okay what Otherwise, you know, you're you're uh, restricted by the amount of enemies and time limit. These have just a crap ton of enemies in them. So, that's why I recommend doing at least 50. 50 seems to be easy. It looks like the enemy pattern changes, though. Uh, because I may have gone through it in a previous video under Commander and shown it. And uh, I pretty much can get rid of every single Insecticon. And because it's a turret section, it's everything pretty much dies in like one, two shots. Just make sure you equip the right weapons and items for uh, farming. So, all right, everyone. Um, this was Transformers Devastation in 2024. Uh, amazing game, short but fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it because I did. It's very refreshing to get back to it. And, uh, it'd probably be even better if I was good at it. <laughs> Models. Yeah. I don't know what's going to side swap. Why do I keep calling him Ratchet? I don't know why I keep calling him Ratchet. Yeah, side swipe. See, that tells you. I don't break rules. I bend them. A lot. You? Ha! Ah, this will only take a minute. That tells you how rusty my, uh, my knowledge is. Here you can see all... Come to tumble, instead you'll rumble. <laughs> Can't beat the frenzy! Buzzsaw. Now you're in double trouble! Collision alert! Ha <laughs> ha! Wrecked ya! Sideswipe. Why? I feel like an idiot. Anyways. Um. Change form. Oh, that's neat. What's in this? Tank. <laughs> I'm gonna start with that one. Leave no Autobot uncrushed. That is really neat. I haven't messed with this. <laughs> Side swipe, not ratchet. You can uh, berate me <laughs> in the comments. Oh, his his e jack. He doesn't. Oh, is it changing him each time? Yeah. That's neat. Metal. 
Yeah, alright. Sideswipe. I won't forget that. Next time. Or maybe I will. Probably will. Alright, everybody. I'm going to call it here. I hope you've enjoyed it. To my subscribers, thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, Y'all just keep being awesome. I'll keep trying to pump these out. Hopefully with far less uh, mistakes. And with <laughs> maybe I'll get better at games one day. Uh, Drive-by beers. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you stick around. Uh, whether it's rewatching old videos or keeping up to date with any live streams um, that I do occasionally. Or just recordings, whether it's solo recordings or the two OGs play. Nice having you all around. Alright everyone, you have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night.